This looks even more complex. Lumos. bring moths to the door. Send you. Final resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Your companion had to show this to Lord Gok. I 
know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic.
Revelio. That's it. This is for Rookwood. I'll watch the light go out of your eye. You won't know if anyone's loose tonight. You're only delaying the inevitable. Is that not a I'll send you. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Rebellion. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It just looks like a helmet to me. Ah, you're looking at what it is, rather than what it means. To most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, oh, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned.
Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Revelio. Accio. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Rebellion. This one took the form of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Look, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. Revelio. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and... There is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm, you'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm, Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you.
Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Alohomora. Okay. 
Didn't I? fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows the best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. <laughs> <laughs> 